Today we're installing a Lithionix Boss 302 battery, 310 amp hour, in a Leisure Travel Van Wonder. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so uh, as I said, this is a 2018 Wonder uh, Murphy bed. And they have, basically they have two compartments out the door. And this one is for the batteries and the 1000 watt inverter. And Tyler has put in uh, these Lion Energy Lithium batteries. So uh, we've got to disconnect them. Okay, so um, now that I have one battery out, I see I have to remove these battery trays. Uh, evidently, Leisure puts these in to hold the batteries, and we need basically this whole battery area cleared out because we're going to be installing a Lithionix Boss 302 battery. So, um, to, to get these out, you know, you basically use your, your square tip and you go through and you take the four screws out. Oh, six screws um, to remove the battery box. So we will keep cleaning this out. Okay, so I've got his Lion Energy batteries out. Uh, I've put uh, one of the Lithionix terminal covers over the positive because I always treat positives like they're hot. I'll do this. Ooh. Sets the battery connections are on top. I want to move this. my wire. You always want to put the smaller lug on top of the larger lug. Okay, we put the solar controller on the, um, I mean, we put the battery connection on the ground bolt. We have the positive battery connection on the main terminal for the mega fuse bar. And this, you know, so the battery feeds it right here. So this gets the battery. Um, now I will zip tie these wires up to be a little bit neater. And then we can go on with the battery installation. Okay, we had to bring the battery in sideways to get it in. <laughs> and then we're just standing it up. All right. So this, wow, that fits perfect. Okay, we got the power button right here, so that's very easy for you to reach. And our battery cables, positive is going to be fine. 
negative yes will still be fine and then if you ever want to go with the second battery you actually can bring this one bring it for you know put it up front and we're going to move the solar controller but effectively uh, once the solar controller is moved after the 3000 watt inverter you can put your second battery right here because mm -hmm. this battery will come up to the edge of this it'll come over about this far once the solar controller gets flipped around mm -hmm. so and see you're not touching i can put my hand behind the battery in your mega fuse panel so yeah easily two boss batteries can go side by side and the beauty about uh, being able to using these 302 batteries and a wonder is you don't need a bus bar when you add a second battery like you do for the um, for unity uh, because you're just going to wire the batteries right together and then you take off opposite points so you do the coach battery connection on the positive terminal of one battery and the negative on the negative terminal of the other battery so it's really easy to upgrade to a second battery in a wonder because of that because you can put them side by side and wire them together instead of having to use a bus bar okay so now we will get that all wired up yeah so so if you move the battery up here to the front then it gives you enough clearance for that mega fuse panel in the back so when you go to, if you go to a second battery they'll both of them will be sitting right up front on this edge um, and that'll be great uh, for a double battery cool you connect first you connect the positive cable so we want to move this back this is always hard I'm gonna get this to pop out so you want to move that back and since we can move the battery a little bit bring it out to where I can get my arm back here I guess you do need to be over on this side. All right, so you, the battery is off, and always make sure when you're handling this battery that you don't accidentally push the power button because you don't want the battery to be on because this terminal would be hot otherwise. As I said, they don't, the battery terminals don't need to be really tight. Just want them tight. See how you can't, when you move it, it doesn't move. That's what you want. No. No moving. Okay. Get up. I gotta slide this. There, okay. And then you slide the cap up over. Let's snap it into place. Alright, so that's in. Now for the negative.
I said, it doesn't wiggle. And now you just get this cap up over battery terminal and voila, the battery is in. Fabulous. Okay, all right, Lithionix Boss 302, perfect fit for a wonder. All right, let's turn the battery on. See a blue light? Blue light. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is call up the Lithionics app. Download the Lithionics app. And open it okay um, all right so the battery is reading 95% so that came 95% from the factory go up there to your little settings cog and I always like to check the firmware update and make sure it's up to date it looks like it's thinking is that right there is that thinking yeah no. what does it or say do you, it doesn't it doesn't it's not spinning you can yeah. Checking for firmware is up to date. Okay, that's good. Now, if you want to, you can um, say uh, name your battery. If you say remember, if you say yes when it says remember your battery, then you can type in a name for your battery. Okay. Um, so you can do that. You know when you want to. Okay. Okay. So let's turn on the solar, and let's see if uh, we can see charging coming in. So why don't we go to uh, your Victron app? Yeah. Let's do your settings for your solar controller. According to, to that, it's supposed to be getting um, 11 amps. So let's go back and see if we're seeing something like that over on the lithium battery. And there you go. Okay, I'm calling the Lithionics Boss Battery Wonder Approved.